Nowhere is the dream of hydrogens becoming the fuel of the future more alive than here. Perhaps one of the last spots on Earth you'd expect such a revolution to unfold. We're in Iceland, whose tiny population of less than 300,000 is entirely dependent on imported oil. Oil that provides the fuel for its large fishing fleet as well as its cars, trucks and buses. But if Iceland has no oil of its own, it does possess another underground resource. Hot magma from the Earth's mantle, welling up beneath a surface that is itself the product of volcanic oozings in the not too distant past. In many places, the magma comes close enough to the surface to heat the groundwater to well above its boiling point. We're walking in one of those spots now, where a borehole was recently drilled to test the potential of the geothermal energy just under our feet. This is more or less 100% renewable power, and then we can actually use that to make hydrogen. So we have a big resource to make a lot of hydrogen to power our own vehicles, our own ships, and then in the future maybe uh, vehicles and ships in some other countries. And be able to transport the hydrogen, which is a way of transporting electricity, the, the electricity and, and in turn that's a way of transporting your geothermal yeah. resource. Yeah. In the last few years, Iceland as a nation has committed itself to this vision of becoming the world's first hydrogen economy, freeing itself entirely from imported oil. Jan Bjorn Skulason heads a venture jointly owned by the government and several major companies with an interest in hydrogen. It has as its symbolic beginning a rather lonely fuel station on the outskirts of the country's capital, Reykjavik. So it looks like it's all set up for a car to pull up and fill up. It's actually ready. You can actually... It's, it's, the, the station is full of hydrogen. If we had the vehicles here, we could actually fill up vehicles right now. So. It's ready for use. Now, where is this hydrogen coming from? It, but it comes well, out of here. We gotta go inside and show you where all the machinery is. So inside here, you have the all the major components of the electrolyzer. Actually, the the the, the mother of the station, as we can call it. The electrolyzer is actually simply a reverse fuel cell stack, producing hydrogen from electricity and water instead of electricity and water from hydrogen. This is right next to, um, or part of, a regular filling station where they sell gasoline, yeah. right? And you can add a, a, a little building like this and produce hydrogen at a filling station yeah. and sell it. Yeah. And that's what, what we think actually will be part of the future, is actually on-site production of hydrogen. You can see all these oil tankers driving around all over the world. Uh, if, like if we design the future like this, we don't need oil tankers driving around anymore. Yeah. We just need st we still need the wires in the air with the electricity, yeah. and of course the the water system or, or pipeline system for the water system. But the the distribution is on site.